This video is brought to you by the world's first 2.5 inch dual drive. The Western Digital Black Square dual drive is available now at NCIX. Hello everyone, this is Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks, and Sennheiser's game line has just expanded with a few new headsets, covering both open and closed style designs. The Game Zero is a closed style headset, keeping the sound in without any leak, and most importantly providing an incredible amount of isolation during your gaming sessions. It has a few very appealing features that we haven't yet seen on the gaming oriented headset, and also at a premium of $280. This is not in your casual gamer's bracket, but as this is targeted for the pros, let's find out if it's worth it. We also have the Game 1 in-house, so leave a like if you want to see a comparison video, but one thing that really threw me off was how thin the Game Zero box was. Inside we find a pretty stellar case that houses the headset with a pocket to contain all the cable. And this is one aspect of the Zero that I find really awesome, the fact that these are collapsible in such a thin profile. There's also a carrying handle on the case, and I just love the ability to protect your investment during transport. The Game Zero is a white on black design that doesn't really feel like Sennheiser in my opinion. I know they're trying to stand out within the gaming realm, but the glossy white is really not my style, especially since there are three color variations of the white on the ear cup, so perhaps if it was all uniform, it might have looked better. The metallic red accents give the Game Zero a more of a gamer look, again a big question mark in terms of design, although that's just my personal preference. The large boom mic is somewhat of a staple for Sennheiser game series, there's definitely no going around that, and while it is flexible, although I do have to position it quite far from my face so it doesn't pick up all the annoying p -p 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 -p, uh, all the air coming from your mouth. It is also noise cancelling, I currently have a video playing at normal volume in the background, although you can still hear it pretty clearly when I stop speaking. I also really would have loved a removable or retractable option for this uh, large microphone. It is muted however when in the upright position with a satisfying click. There's a very convenient volume knob on the right ear cup, perfectly within reach, although it feels quite loose and I was not expecting that for the asking price. The overall build quality is pretty great with solid plastic headband and metal joints. There are also small pads between the ear cups and the support frame to avoid plastic on plastic grind. The Game Zero is also adequately flexible and size adjustable and like I mentioned earlier, foldable either for the carrying case or just to throw in your bag. The ear cups are oversized for this to be an over ear headset with extremely comfortable and soft leather padding. This definitely has to be one of the most comfortable closed headsets that I've ever tried. The deep air cushions encompass your entire ear and the drivers are angled so you never make contact with the internals. And I can appreciate the red lining also to fit with the color scheme. The cable is unfortunately non-removable and it is uh, long at 3 meters, so most of it is always going to be bundled up with velcro. It connects through standard 3.5mm mic and headphone jacks that are color coded. And putting the headset on, the large ear cups and appropriate clamping force is going to be an absolute pleasure for hours and hours of gaming, and the leather does concentrate the heat a little bit, so occasional venting is definitely needed. They are slightly on the heavy side at 312 grams, but the way these hug your head with supporting headband uh, and the weight was absolutely not an issue. The Game Zero is a 150 ohms impedance headphone, so the resistance on the current is quite high, uh, for a gaming style headset and I would strongly recommend using a sound card with these. I ran them through my Asus DX sound card and was totally blown away at how well these isolated even at low volume. I do have to say that the sound is a tap on the hollow side, so I would not use these as my main music driver, but it is gaming oriented and I understand why it is this way. Being a closed style headset, most of which suffer from tiny sound stage, Sennheiser has tweaked the frequency response to sound more open, resulting in a more reserved and distant mid-range. This means quite a bit of detail is lost, as the treble extension is quite boring. There's no pop, there's no energy for music, and I do prefer the brighter and the more flat response of my HD558s and the K712 Pros. 
The female vocals in Teardrop did not really stand out and I strangely couldn't place her within the space where with the HD 558s I could feel her presence close to the microphone. The Zero suffers with the same distant vocals and no church in the wild, thus creating a larger soundstage that in-game is absolutely important for immersion that it turns out comes at a compromise for its ability to drive music properly. The bass extension with Zero is very well controlled and non-invasive within the mid-range. For example, Dragonborn from Skyrim soundtrack was very powerful, however left me wanting more of a rumble and low frequency bass in Young and Beautiful. Now this being a dedicated gaming headset, it does sure sound like one. So I fired up Battlefield 4, Crisis 3 and Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and immediately understood why these have been tuned with the distant mid-range. The Zero have an impressively large soundstage for a close style stereo headset. The incredibly large audio environment in Battlefield 4 translated really well in detecting distant gunshots, hearing the chatter from the enemy requesting ammo and med packs, giving you a good sense of distance between you and your targets. And jumping into Assassin's Creed 4, I noticed that music playback was very much muted compared to the HD 558, as the mid-range is recessed with the zero. However, other audio elements within the game, like bird singing, stood out quite well. So while you do gain a sense of a larger audio environment, detail within the mid-range is lost and the Zero are particularly conservative with soft treble. Bass response is excellent for music playback and even better for gaming as it is quite powerful and absolutely amazing in Crisis 3. It's well controlled, clean and totally transforms you into the game. And to conclude, I think the best part about the game Zero, especially being gaming oriented, is the comfort. With large over-the-ear cups with soft leather cushions combined with just the right amount of clamping force and the weight make this one of the most comfortable headsets that I've tried and tested in a long time. The collapsible feature is also very appealing plus the included case is a nice addition. Sound quality wise, I'm very impressed with the roomy soundstage for a closed style headphone and with a little of EQ tweaking you can get some pretty decent mid-range and treble results. However, the way these drivers are tuned with the recessed mid-range and the lack of treble actually takes away from a proper gaming experience as the Zero tends to sound hollow with much less detail compared to the HD 558 or the Game 1 for example. I'm not a big fan of the color scheme, although this is more of a personal complaint. And as with every game series headset, the bulky boom microphone is non-removable and while the sounds acceptable for gaming, noise cancellation is quite poor. And also close to $300, I'm actually a little bit disappointed with the way these drivers are tuned, but you can certainly extract, like I said, additional detail through the equalizer with more detailed mid-range and a brighter high end. And taking all of that in, how do you feel about the game Zero? We do have the game one in-house, so leave a comment if you'd like to see a comparison video. Don't forget to like for more gaming reviews. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.